Here's a pretty cool safety feature I discovered while moving the car in the driveway. My seatbelt is not on. I open the door, put it into drive, and hit the accelerator and the car won't move. So maybe you have some kids in the car who are messing around, hit the drive, doors open, no one has a seatbelt on, and the car won't move. What a smart thing to do. Hey, what's going on? Dave Erickson here with Everyman Driver. Thank you so much for watching. I am wrapping up my week-long drive and review of this 2020 Honda Ridgeline midsize pickup truck. Today, some demonstrations inside and out, talk about some of the new changes and updates for 2020, do a driving demo, and a few other things as well. So, let's get started. This is so funny, my buddy just bought a 2020 Honda Ridgeline and we met up for dinner the other night and he says, which trim level do you have? And he says, oh my gosh, the same trim level I have. And there's, uh, he goes, what's different about your car? It's got some interesting lighting on the inside. And I go, well, let me look into that for you. There are three big things that are new this year on the 2020 versus last year. One is a new nine-speed automatic transmission that replaces the outgoing six-speed automatic transmission. Also, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard uh, for technology-wise. Also, the trim lineup has been scaled down to just four trim levels. Uh, Sport, RTL, RTLE, which we have, we know my, my buddy has the same one, and the Black Edition. And I've driven and reviewed the Black Edition in the past. In fact, there's a list below here in the description of all my Honda videos and reviews. However you slice it, there's only one engine available. Whether you think that's good news or bad news, it's a 3.5 liter V6, again, made it that new nine-speed automatic transmission, 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Now, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with the all-wheel drive, which we have. Uh, Front-wheel drive is standard on the first two trim levels, and towing with the front-wheel drive up to 3,500 pounds. A couple of cool things with the Ridgeline in the back is the two-way tailgate. Maybe you saw this on previous generations. Just below here, there's a latch. Actually, you can see right here where it says release. So if you forget where it is. So the tailgate opens that way. So some pretty easy access in this case to get my garbage bin out. And then, of course, the traditional way, lifting the handle. And it folds down. Not a soft opening, but still folds down. Also exclusive to the Ridgeline is this inbox storage lockable space. So here's your spare tire, your jack, and you have this spot here which can hold, let's say, ice for your weekend activities or just some other storage right there. And it's lockable. There's the lock on it. So that's pretty cool. There's also in-bed lighting and, of course, hooks there. So if you need to tie down some things, you can do that. So here's a look at your real-world backseat legroom. I've got the seat right there where my position was as the driver. So if I step in, you can see here, this is my realistic legroom behind myself. I'm 5'11". It's an okay amount of space for a mid-sized pickup truck. Not fantastic. And unfortunately, my seat doesn't slide back any further than it is. Headroom is doable, thanks in part to this indent in the roof line. So still just under six feet tall, and I've got some room. And I've got individual indents. So you've got your light right here, indent here, indent there. Also, there's a middle armrest that you can fold down. You can put some change in here, cup holders. Honda also provides a couple of USB ports in the back for the passengers so they can stay charged up with their smart devices. Here is yet another good example of the versatility in the back of the Ridgeline. So back seat, of course, you can have three people back there, no problem. But as you see, we have the seats folded up here on the far inside. It's kind of a 60-40 split. What's so nice about this is you lift this handle, it comes up, and then you just snap it into place. So very similar to those magic seats, I think in the Honda Fit, so if you really want to, you can just walk right through, make your way to the other end. No problem, right? And then to bring them down, lift the handle, snaps back into place. One of my biggest takeaways 
driving the Ridgeline this week is its car-like comfort in a mid-sized pickup truck. Much of that has to do with the unibody construction, but it makes it uh, quite a desirable pick if you are looking at other vehicles in this in this category. As far as competition, I'm gonna go the new Gladiator, for example, the Colorado and Tacoma. Now, when it comes to off-roading, those vehicles definitely will blow this one away, but when it comes to driving comfort here on the highway, for example, the Honda Ridgeline is definitely the way to go, in my experience. Pretty straightforward cabin, infotainment system, and instrument cluster that you've seen in the past with the Ridgeline and other vehicles that are very similar, like the Honda Pilot or Passport or CRV, for example. So you have the, the touch screen here in the center. You got your climate controls down below. There are no knobs to turn up the volume on the radio, but you do have it here on the steering wheel plenty of uh, mounted controls here which are really easy to understand with the volume here on the left hand side Bluetooth technology in the right hand side you got your radar cruise control and lane keeping aid and so on so pretty standard and easy to understand here's a demonstration of the backup camera pop it in reverse here camera shows up there nice wide screen lane lines turn with the steering wheel so what I'm doing is going to back in all the way to the spot behind me See the lane lines directing me in. Staying within the lines. And then straighten out. And there is no audible alert for getting too close, which is surprising. We're cruising here around 45 miles per hour. Just want to do a, a quick acceleration test on that um, get up speed. So I'm gonna hit it from 45 to 55 and see what happens. Here we go, three, two, one, boom. Bit of delay, now it bumps up and we hit it just like that, but clearly a pause there. So not the immediate power that I was hoping for or hoping to demonstrate, but maybe that is the demonstration, the fact that there is a little bit of a pause or lag when you hit the accelerator going at 40, 45 miles per hour up to 55. So the MSRP range in a brand new 2020 Honda Ridgeline is between $34,000 and $43,500, depending, of course, on trim level. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have a link below to my full archive of all my Honda videos in the description below. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.